the derivative of the parabola from first principles. Now let fx equal ax squared plus bx plus c. Now f dash x is equal to the limit of function x plus h minus function x all over h. Now simply by replacing the x with x plus h in here, I get a outside of x plus h all squared plus b outside of x plus h plus c. Now the next step is we're going to expand this all out and collect like terms. And you can see this is what I've done here. The x plus h all squared becomes x squared plus 2xh plus h squared. And then on the next line, I've multiplied throughout by a, to the ax squared plus 2axh plus ah squared. This becomes bx plus bh plus c. And of course, all the plus signs change to negative signs in this section here. All right, now after collecting like terms here, you'll notice that the ax squared, this one here, goes out with this one. The bx goes out with this one. And the c goes out with that one. And that leaves us with 2axh plus ah squared plus bh. And the next line, what I've done, I've taken out h. This h here is a common factor. There it goes there. And of course, now you can cancel the h's. And you simply get the limit of 2ax plus ah plus b. But as h goes towards 0, this one will go out. And you're left with the final result that the derivative is 2ax plus b. Now, an interesting result with all this is that if you let f dash x equals 0, now what happens is that, say we take a parabola like that or like that. Okay, that's f dash x equals 0. All right, so we let that equal 0. So 2ax plus b equals 0. So that means that x must equal minus b over 2a. And that is that familiar axis of symmetry, which we derived from the calculus. That's the, axis, that's the x value of the axis of symmetry.